What's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy DMV Hoods and News, and who we got right here, man? It's Young Tay, man. Merlin's on, Superman's on, man. Y'all stand up. Man, Sulin on, Sulin side Tay, man. What's going on, man? AKA Young Tay, man. How we doing? Coolin', brother. How you? Man, how's you, man? You know, long time coming, man. You know, I've been wanting to lock in for you for a minute, bro. You know what I'm saying? I tapped it with a few of your interviews, your Dirty Glove uh, Bastard interviews and stuff like that. And I, I looked at them and one day I noticed about you, man, you got you got a, a, a bright head on your shoulder. You ain't like everybody else. So I'm glad you we finally tapped in. We locked in and shit for this interview, man. So, um, you know what I'm saying? What's going on, man? Tell me about yourself. So, you know, the, the name is uh, self-explanatory, man. You know, uh, uh, on your Instagram, Sue Inside Tay. You know what I'm saying? Tell me, uh, where'd you grow up around on that area? Shit. I started off, I live in some apartments by like Regency Parkway. Yeah. Till like five or some shit like that. Then I moved around the creek mm. till like 17, 18, some shit like that. Live around the creek. And then I lived around, uh, I did some time around like Oxon Hill. I ain't live around there, but I got people around there. Right, right, right. So I'm connected to all through PG. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, you know, it's just like, you just basically just put on for the, like, the suit inside for real. Like, that's, that's just like your area for real. Yeah, that whole side. I put on Digital Heights, Forsville, suit. For real, for real, my address around the creek. That shit say Digital Heights. Right. Forsville Mall right there. If you went if you went to school right there, you probably went to Forsville High School. Yeah, yeah. I always thought, I always thought Forsville School was around Sutton anyway. Because it's like right there. And it's like once you hit the around the corner, it's like the welcome to suit inside. Yeah, exactly. And then you hit the corner, exactly. you, you around Forest Creek. Street. So it's like, yeah. yeah, it's like kind of, and they kind of like suit affiliated anyway. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, you know, it's like one side Forestville, other side District Heights, the other side Suitland. So I could kind of see why you would say, you know, yeah. So I could kind of see that though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But basically, you from PG County. You know what I'm saying? So like, tell me that side, cause you know, usually you know me growing up in the city, man, they usually be like. Underrating the Merlin side, you know what I'm saying? But I know that they they quote unquote call that Southeast Merlin right there. That's the grimy side. So how was yeah. it growing up for you? Shit, for real, for real, I don't want like try to make it seem like that shit super gangster. It is though. Like it's like a main little rip. Everybody know niggas that's from out here, PG County or DC, they know about the creep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh no, bro. You see shit. You see cluggers. You see. A lot of shit, bro. <laughs> just, like, just a lot of, a lot of shit. shit. A lot of shit, like, man. To be honest, that shit job made a nigga. Like, I seen a lot of different shit. I see how people move. So in the real world, I, I know what it is already. I ain't guessing. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she definitely kind of built you, kind of built you. You know what I'm saying? In a way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, you know, a lot of people always talk about the negatives of growing up in the hood. Like, what, what would you say was a positive in a way? Like I said, probably learning, learning how people operate. Mm -hmm. Like dealing with different type of people. As soon as you step outside, it's all type of different shit. It's a crackhead. There used to be a nigga live behind my house named Curtis. Like, and the nigga used to talk to himself. Hey, my name Curtis. All type of shit. You just learn how to deal with different people. Right. I mean, but you still kind of in a way learn something from. Yeah, I learn how to deal with them. Me, I'm an introvert, bro. I don't fuck with people. Right. I, so, I understand. I completely understand that. I learn how to not how to please them, but I learn how to tone my shit. Then, like, I might react, like, break it the fuck off my face, all bucks. But I don't gotta be like that all the time. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying. So in the real world, I'm more poised now because I know I seen this shit and I know how to deal with this shit. So the other shit is nothing. Right. Definitely. You know? Definitely, definitely, man. Um, so yeah, we definitely told you to come up and stuff like that, whatever, whatever. So yeah, you know I'm saying, uh, let's talk about the journey of the music and shit like that, man. When did you uh, actually start rapping? And uh, like, how did it start? I started rapping in 2015. I used to go up Self Made Studio. That shit was in Suitland. Yeah, 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 I know about that. Uh, I used to be recording with Lil Reason. Oh yeah. First though, first I record with my cousin Clip, nigga, Young Clip. Keep him rocking. Yeah, 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 I'm very familiar. I used to record with him and shit. He really, like, that's the first person that put me in the studio, like, showed me all that shit. Right. But, um, since then, I was looking at them. I was looking at Slutty Boys coming up. I studied and shit. And now I'm doing my own thing. Right, right. So you was, like, kind of always in the studio, man, just watching and saying, observing and see how you do that yeah, shit. Yeah, like, even if I ain't recording, I like just being around that shit. Right. Just like being around and shit, yeah, man. So you was you was around, but you you know, but when, when was like the actual start for you? You would say. Uh, when I got to like 12th grade, I was telling everybody, man, I'm gonna rap. Cause niggas was like, what you gonna do? Like you going to college? I'm like, well, I'm not 
might have to go to college. I might have to be around here. I might have rap. Uh -huh. So that's when I really I started taking it serious. I was going to the studio job every day. Right. That's how I started making my contact. That's how I met Reason. Reason, a nigga, he uh told me he made me go down to Atlanta and shit. Nigga introduced me to. Ain't gonna believe it. He introduced me to Jaheen. Mm -hmm. I forgot what song this nigga got. You better put that woman first. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of robbers, even the hottest DMV robbers, they cannot get out the DMV. You know what I'm saying? They might have millions of views. I've seen robbers like literally millions of views, millions of streams, and they on the block, just hanging out. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of that. Like it's like the local robbers just want to stay local. You know what I'm saying? Whereas I see on you, your side, you doing interviews out of town, you networking in other people's studio and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, how you feel about that for one and two? What made you want to get out and network in other places? Shit, it's all about your mindset. They can do that shit too. Right. Them for real, for real, them millions of views don't mean nothing though. Right. Like if you want to go somewhere, do that shit. Mm -hmm. But like. What was the second part of your question? Like, like, what made you want to go out here and network? What made like, me want to go out is, I ain't gonna lie, the way they play it out here, the way they do shit out here, I want to go see what that other shit, and if you study, you gotta study, bro, you really want to rap, you gotta study, you look at the niggas like Sha, Sha went down to Atlanta, he ain't just stay right here, Right. You, know I mean? you gotta go other places if you want to get fans in other places, yeah. even yeah. Baltimore, you gotta go to Baltimore sometimes, touch the people, right. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, because I feel like yeah, everybody just bridged up in one little space and they just don't do nothing. They just be here, like, all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it just be kind of crazy. It's like, people don't want to, it's either that they don't know the business or they don't want to learn the business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I see something different, you know, from you and shit. You know what I'm saying? What's probably one of the biggest things you learned? Like, doing, you know, networking. Networking is exactly what it is, networking. People are not your friends. I'm saying you meet people when you do business. Like you can see what you can do for this person, what they can do for you. But after that, you don't gotta be tied to them. That you know what I'm Cause a lot of times, if you do, let's say you do a feature with somebody, something happened to them or something happened to you. Now you want you want them to post your shit. They're not gonna post you no more. Cause they was just networking with you. That's not really your your, your people. Yeah. You know what I'm Y'all nah, cool, but that's not your, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You think that's kind of like messing up the damn V, like rap scene a little bit in a way? That's not, if you understand that, it's not going to mess it up. But yeah, but I think there's a lot of that going on. There's a lot of that going on. Yeah, it's like you do a feature with me, now your ops is my ops. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now we got to go to war and, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, but, but like you got to understand what I just said. If, if people living like that and they think you do that, you want. Yeah, yeah <laughs> fact. Instead of just keeping it strict. Yeah. Business, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have no issue with building up relationships. You, you know, even on the blogger side, everybody wants me to pick a side. I'm like, not picking no side. No. You know, not picking no side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, yeah. What's probably the biggest struggles of being an artist? You know what I'm saying? A, a local artist, an independent artist, and, and you know, things like that. Shit. Biggest struggles of being an independent artist. You don't got no machine behind you. Right. I'm doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it. Yeah, everything. I'm not niggas not putting together the the play for me. Like if we say me and bro about to go down to A, we gotta figure out where we about to stay. I'm saying what's the, the places to perform at. It's not like we got a manager or mm -hmm. nigga putting the funding in, in our pocket. We doing everything. Doing everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Have you noticed the difference as far as like you know love? Like I know you said it's business first, you know what I'm saying at fourth. But did, did you notice there was a difference out there than it is to like out here? Hell yeah, yeah. When we went down the A, it was all love. Right. Shit. Even I ain't gonna hold you. Baltimore job like that. If you go to the clubs in Baltimore, they embrace you. Really? Yeah. But out DC is like this. <laughs> oh yeah, they'll probably nod their head. Oh yeah, he all right. Yeah, cause once it really, if you really crank, that's how you know. Nigga gonna nod their head like, oh shit, shorty crank. Yeah, but out Baltimore, they really fucking yeah, with you. They fuck with you. you know what I'm Even if you coming from PG, cause I, I know you know DC and Baltimore's always had their little issue, but you know they always look down like on PG County, like in a way too. You know what I'm saying? So did they ever give you that type of little situation or? I mean, I see that mostly on the internet. Right. When I, I be in Baltimore. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, nah, for real facts. You know what I'm saying? So like, 
um, you've been you've been rapping for like for like probably like like a decade, if not more, right? Um, or, or or close to a decade. So right now, what's really the plan now? You know what I'm saying? Being that you you know you kind of like an OG now in this, you know. So what's the plan now? You know, being that you're getting older, you know, I'm not calling you old or nothing, but <laughs> I'm not calling you old. You know what I'm saying? Because if anything, I'm old. <laughs> if anything, I'm old as shit. But like. Like, what is like the plan now since you have experience and the knowledge? You know what I'm saying? What's, what's the difference you're gonna, what's the difference, that, what's your plan now within five to ten years compared to what you was doing five to ten years before? Shit, I'm gonna get the fuck. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go somewhere else, bro. Right. Yeah. I played this area, you know what I'm saying? Right. All this shit we saying, I know it and all that, but the only thing that's left to do is, is get the fuck. Right. Get the get the fuck network more. <laughs> like get to another area, like for like move type shit. I be going other places. I gotta visit, but I'm I just gotta go. Right. I think that's the smartest thing you can do. Cause it's too much crab in the bu- you know, crab in the bucket mentality and shit like that. You know what I mean just that, it's like I don't got no label out here. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not just that. It's like it's about resources. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, Michael go out Cali, nigga Michael running the Snoop one day. We don't even got, he don't got Sammy or nothing. It's just, I'm with Snoop. That get, that's getting you traction right there. Right. You gotta be out in different places, you gotta be seen. You gotta be with the, you want, whatever you wanna do, you gotta be with them people. Mm-hmm. Even if you wanna play football, nigga, you can need to be in a gym with them niggas. You feel me? Right. The, the best people, the best of the best. That, that's actually a good, that's a good, that's a good right there too. Cause yeah. it's like, you play for the top, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you play for the top, whatever league to get you to the NFL, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But you want to stay at a, a football team in UDC. Exactly. Yeah, it makes sense. Don't go Juco. Yeah. Go all the way with it. Go all the way. <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, for real, man. Who we got right here on the side right here, though? What's up, what's up, man? It's Lil 5 ABM, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. What's going on with you, man? I ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Where you, what side you from, man? From Landover, Maryland. Caroline, two five side to be exact. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts. For sure. Hey, tell them stream your shit, bro. I gotta stream my own mindset, man. Go ahead and look my shit up, Lil Fife, 8 me on social media and shit. You know what I'm saying? We got Instagram is Lil Fife underscore ABM, so that's L I L F I F E underscore ABM. Right. Like the Google go band, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I ain't a part of that, though. That's my favorite band, though. That's my favorite band, too. That's crazy. Nah, though. Shit. Go stream all my shit. I just dropped the project on the 28th of last month. Dirty Skills and Beats. That shit going crazy. Shit, I'm saying I wrote like I got the best music out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I'm saying I got the best music out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I'm saying I got the best music out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, I'm saying I got the best music out at the DMV and said 2013. Yeah, really? I said 2023. We burned out. Yeah, for real. Go get that shit. What's y'all uh, relationship, man? Like, you know? Son, that's my brother right here. For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Or oh, like blood or just like y'all? Yeah, not not like... blood and that shit, but you know what I'm saying? Some might think. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Facts, so. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, what would you think you need to escalate? Because he said networking, getting up out of here. So what you think? You think you, you agree with him? I mean, yeah, I agree with that 100%. Uh-huh. Definitely agree with that 100%. You know uh-huh. Motherfuckers got, uh, got a network. Always got a network. Like, even if you don't leave, you got a network. Right. You know what I'm saying? But also keep your motherfucking in your head straight. Yeah. Like, jump in this shit. You know what I'm saying? The same way you came in. Like, nigga, don't just... Just because you met this nigga, you feel like... I, I got a motherfucking, I got to ride with this nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. nah, you don't do that shit. That's right. how you get your ass shit back, you hear me? That's yeah. how you get your ass, you hear me, about it. Yeah, you yeah, ain't gonna be in this shit for long. Mm-hmm. Your ass gonna make music, you really plan on doing music and being in this shit for a long ass time. Nigga, don't jump smack off the porch and shit with a diss song. Yeah. Nigga, actually make a fucking real song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, fine. you hear me, bro? Yeah. <laughs> jump off like, the break nigga, with a like, diss song. Jump off the break, though, it's like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Now, now don't get me wrong, so like, if that don't crank that, oh yeah, for sure, then shit, do your thing, so, but, bro, that shit don't crank, bro, and, <laughs> bro, you just doing that shit, you know what I'm saying, for the hood, for the gang and shit, you know what I'm saying, for your men, mm-hmm. bro, you just like, chirping like shit, because mm-hmm. nine times out of ten, shit, a lot of your men, shit, probably won't even, won't even share that shit or none of that shit, you know what I'm saying, to elevate your shit, you feel what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like, so it's like, bro, you gotta go around certain shit, you feel me? Hey, let me, let me see this, watch what you say on the song. 
What's up? <laughs> yeah. Why did you say on the song? There's a lot of incriminating shit on hey, people's music. Why did you say on the song and uh, realize it'd be, it'd be, don't be, start off be, with no fucking diss record? It'd it, it be so astonishing <laughs> oh, how, many crimi- how much incriminating shit be on, on people's songs. Man. And, and it'd be crazy because like they'll try to make it subliminal and I can decipher where everything he's talking about. Yeah. So what you think the police is going up? You know what I'm saying? So, Fact. The police are going to everything. Yeah, so. You know. don't, cause don't, just th- don't just think, you know what I'm saying? Because these niggas feds, whatever, like, there's like every fed that you run into or the every fed that got earpods and shit like that, that they going to be some old ass niggas that don't know shit. There's some young ass motherfuckers that's out there that don't walk around with the yeah. same clothes on as you. You ain't even going to know that these niggas is what the fuck they really is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> some Behind their office door, you hear me? Some grew up in the hoods we grew up in and all oh, that. Exactly. And if they get that job, they gonna he, get put in that hood to work at you. No boys, yeah. I'm, probably, speaking, I'm speaking some wild shit. I'm, I'm talking real shit. That's real he shit. Probably was in the, he probably was in the CFB <laughs> like 10, 20, 12 years ago, throwing up his uh, hood. Now he the police. Like still in the go go's, you know me? Yeah, he was still in the go go's. Still in the go go's. <laughs> still, <laughs> still in the everybody po- photos and shit like that, posing and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a true All story. that flash shit. That's a true story. <laughs> Damn, no based on the true story. Told, you know what I mean? Oh, funny. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? What was your uh, biggest influences, man, growing up? You know what I'm saying? Was it local rappers or was it like bigger rappers? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, bro. You know, I was listening to Lil Wayne. Everybody yeah. listened to Lil Wayne at one point. Yeah. Lil Wayne. Was... I was listening to Go Go, though. If you take it back, like MySpace. Yeah, I grew up to Go Go, too. You gonna start out right there. Fucking with Go Go. Then I guess that's Lil Wayne era after that. Then uh, I don't know. I don't know the the, the years, but Chief Keef. So that, Chief Keef. That had. 2013, 12, mm-hmm. 2012 era. I, I got a side question. You think Chief Keef like ruined the DMV in a way? Like did that Chief Keef drill rap in a way? That shit helped like shit when Chief Keef came down the link with Fat Trim. That link, that, that link up helped both of them. Yeah, it helped both of them, but I'm saying like in, as far as, cause like now you see a lot of, uh, they don't call it DMV drill music, they call it like free car music. Yeah. Like, do you think that that influence from Chicago kind of messed everything up in a way? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or you Man, think they brought it on themselves in a way? DC Ben had, DC Ben was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah we've been, <laughs> it's been active out here yeah. in this area, but I'm just saying like it's been active, but it's like, like now it's like, I just remember when Chief Keith got big, Everybody was like singing this song. They were playing it at the go-go's and shit and that's that shit I don't like and yeah. then they start talking about ops and sliding and you know something like you know what I'm saying you think that kind of like messed up anything in a way or you think you know it, it wouldn't make a difference at all Yeah, yeah, I guess you're you right like it make a difference. Yeah, it add on to it. Yeah, it definitely add fuel to the fire Yeah, yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I understand y'all being in the streets and stuff But just be like, you know, just be careful. You know what I'm saying? That's more so what I'd be out, you know. Yeah, if you do that, you just gotta you know just, the energy is going to come. Add, with you add an additional energy too. You. Yeah, you, you don't know energy. It's people that made this songs and die a couple days, if not the next day later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You know, you know. Sometimes it be cranking, but then sometimes it's real life. You know, and you be feeling that. That's how I be thinking. Um, I ain't gonna make this my interview though. So you know, uh, what I was getting ready to ask you real quick. You know, um, coach, like what uh, projects you got on the way? I know shit on the way. Yeah, I go stream my shit on Apple Music right now. I right. got like five, I don't know how much shit I got, but fuck with me. Y'all let me know what y'all want. Mm-hmm. I could do whatever though. Yeah. I'll be freestyling now. I, I just go make the song. You just go make a song? Yeah. You want to, just go make a song. That's simple, yeah. Yeah, this is what I was gonna ask you. I remember I had made a post with you on it on 30 Glove Bastard. You know what I'm saying? The J was doing numbers. It was a bunch of comments on it and stuff. And, um, you know, you were just like, you were speaking about the DMV sound and stuff. Like, like right now, like, right now, how do you feel about it? How I feel about the sound? Yeah, how do you feel about it? Do you feel the same way you said in the interview? Or do you, like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit, though. I mean, I got my couple artists I listen to, but I ain't, like, super engulfed in it. Like, I know every single person. Mm-hmm. I know the... the the top people, you feel me? Yeah. But I ain't too too much into it. Uh, yeah, you just focus on trying to sound like you and brand your own style and sound. Yeah, for real, for real, I don't be listening to music like that. Really? Yeah, I be reading and listening to audio books. Really? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. 
Yeah, hey, you just like me. I just I look at documentary stuff. Everybody yeah, be thinking I be documentary. You know what I'm saying? I get tapped into the artists because you know I run a brand, yeah. and Instagram and stuff. But like when 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 I like nighttime, I take a break. Yeah, I'm looking documentaries, debates, and you know things like that. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you though. When I'm in the gym, I'm, trying, the hit, I'm trying to hit gears walk in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> you say you crack your gears walk in the gym? Oh, fuck dude. that. Like said, nigga, you a bitch. I fuck with that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> free, like, free gears, man. <laughs> Did you release anything recently? Uh, thinking out loud too. Thinking out loud too. Uh, like April. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's literally thinking out loud. Like I'm saying, I just get on the mic and I be saying what the fuck going on. Yeah. So, as far as projects on the way, I ain't planning on it, but yeah, you see, you all gonna see what's gonna happen. Right. What about like music videos? You got anything on the way right there? As far as that? No, I got a link with my man Rich. Mm. I definitely want you to uh, be more consistent with the shit too, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta drop a video for every song that's on your shit. Just keep going with somebody that shit, man. Me, do that shit. Just brother. keep consistent, cause you never know what's the song gonna blow. Or somebody might take it off TikTok. You know, TikTok the new wave now. I don't know how to use the shit though. <laughs> I don't know how to use it, but you know. That shit Yeah. yeah on that shit. <laughs> but I got I, I got a type I got a TikTok account I don't even use it I don't know how to use it bro but that's what the youth love you know what I'm saying you never know what song gonna pop so you know I would love to see you like real consistent like drop a video every month at least you know what I'm saying help me with that shit that internet shit yeah I don't know how the algorithm work and all yeah you know? I just be posting my shit it's right 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 I just post it post and just you but know I'm try I am trying to learn like mm -hmm. how to do that shit yeah facts. Nah, definitely, man. So tell them where they can follow you at. You know what I'm saying? What's your Instagram, Twitter, everything like that, man. Everything Tay Suitland side. T A E Suitland side. Right. Nah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. 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 Apple Music, Young Tay Man, Y U N G space T A E M A N. Right. Definitely. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Well, I definitely appreciate this interview. You got any last words? Any words of motivation? Shit, where's the motivation? Get money, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's the best advice, man. Get some money. Um, go get me a brush shit. Go stream that shit everywhere, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned with whatever the fuck me and bro got going on, you hear me? I'm gonna get an interview next. Right. I don't know when, but I'm gonna get an interview next. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna log in. Shit, we're gonna log in. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Around, if I had the time, if I had the time, we would find a new location, just do it ASAP. If I had the time, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I might get logging in the mall. Shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is. But nah, definitely appreciate the interview right here. You know what I'm saying? Tell him, like you say, follow him. It's your boy Dan V. Hudson News, and we are gone.